Ignoring my dad's constant attempts to reconcile and the pressure from my family and friends, I'm determined to maintain my no-contact policy. When I was 13 my dad had an affair and left my mom and moved in with his affair partner who we'll call Jane. At first me and my sister would visit every weekend and I will admit he was a good dad although I never liked Jane. When Jane got pregnant and had their son our visits became less frequent and my dad was more concerned with his new family. He would miss some of my my recitals or my sister's competitions because he was busy with his son. When I was 16. Jane decided she wanted to move for a new job opportunity. Me and my sister begged him not to leave us but he just said I need to prioritize my family. He moved 10 hours away. That pretty much ended our relationship and I decided to go no contact as it was clear he did not consider me family. My younger sister stayed in contact with him. He would try and call me and offer for me to come and visit with my sister but I refused. When he came back to see my sister I would refuse to speak to him when he turned up at the house. I didn't invite him to my high school or college graduation. I'm now 33 and have remained no contact with him, he has over the years repeatedly tried contacting me and getting his family to contact me on his behalf to reconcile. I have avoided family events in case he attended including my sister's wedding and baby showers. My dad and his family moved back to our hometown three months ago and he has been relentless trying to reconcile. I have received messages from my half-brother and sister wanting a relationship saying he's a great dad. My dad found out I'm getting married and keeps trying to contact me and has even tried to speak to my fiancé. Jane messaged me saying I have broke my dad's heart repeatedly and I'm pathetic and should get therapy. I replied back that she was nothing but a home wrecking whore and then blocked her. Everyone seems to be wanting, G me to let him back in my life. I'm sick of all the harassment and accidentally bumping into my dad and his family in the town. Whenever I see him I just walk away and refuse to speak to them. Everyone is saying he's a good dad and tried his best to remain in contact but I pushed him away. Everyone is pressuring me my mom, sister, grandparents aunts and uncles, even some of my friends. My fiancé has even started saying I'm the off for shutting him out. It's all starting to get to me so am I Ida? Thank you for your comments I haven't got through all of them but I'm glad to know that most of you think I'm NTA which is a huge relief as I thought I was going insane. I'm going to have a serious conversation with my fiancé as most of you pointed out he should have my back. If he continues to defend my dad then I'm going to have to think if this relationship should go any further. We are 12 weeks out from the wedding but need to sort this out sooner than later. For information I own a local business moving away is not an option I live in a small town where everyone knows everyone and he is friends with a lot of people including my fiancé family. My dad did not come back for me, he came back because Jane's parents need help and care. He has not financially supported me since I was 17 he withheld my college fund to try and blackmail me into having a relationship with him so I had to work and get loans. I've avoided events because my family use it as a chance to force reconciliation. He also won't leave me alone and make scenes, hell come up to me talking as if nothing has happened try to hug me or starts crying. I can't simply cut everyone off, everyone is on his side and against me including my own mother. To give you all a bit more context when he left my mom for Jane he only wanted us on the weekend my mom offered him 50-50 but refused. I didn't like Jane and was standoffish with her because I knew what they had done my sister was too young to understand and was more accepting of her. Jane was mean to me but nice to my sister when I was at my dad's I felt uncomfortable and she would purposefully leave me out of fun activities or plan things purely for my sister. We had a few arguments over minor things but my dad always took her side. My dad and me used to have daddy-daughter date at least once every two weeks. Jane put a stop to that. When she had my half-brother we went from going every weekend to once every six weeks. My dad was MIA and had finally gotten his precious son. He stopped trying with me. When they moved I was so upset he chose to leave us. He didn't want custody just for us to visit him every now and again and speak to him on the phone. Parenting at a distance so all of his focus was on his new family when I graduated from high school and refused to invite him everything blew up Jane called me some terrible names and so did my dad and he refused to give me my college fund unless I started being part of the family again. From what I gathered, he spent it on his new family. I'm sick of being the one to miss out on events with my family. I would be willing to be in the same room but not interact or even be civil but he pushes things and makes it impossible update one. Some of you gave helpful suggestions which I'm planning to take on board. I have just spoken to my fiancé and unfortunately it has not gone well but at this point in time I've had enough and want to run away and never come back. My fiancé knows my history with my dad and Jane. I explained to him that him siding with my father and pressuring me was hurting me and as my fiancé he should be supporting me. My fiancé who I'll call Luke told me he can't support me in doing something that he knows is wrong. Luke told me that he had spoke to my father and had an understanding of both sides of the story and believes that if we both sit down and talk we can sort this out and reconcile. I told Luke I don't want this and want no contact and asked why he is even sp a king to my father. Luke admitted his father who is friends with my dad encouraged Luke to speak to him and hear him out. Luke told me my dad loved me very much and always wanted to be in my life and has pictures of me, I'm guessing he got these from my family as my social media is set to private. Luke said my dad is heartbroken at the state of our relationship because I was being unreasonable about him moving away when I was young. Luke stated I got on the wrong foot with Jane and that I was not innocent in the breakdown of the relationship. He told me that everyone can see the truth but me and to look in the mirror because I'm the problem. 
Needless to say I broke down crying and asked him why he was doing this to me and not supporting me. Luke claims to love me but won't stand by and watch me be a heartless bitch. After he said this I stood up told him that he shouldn't marry a heartless bitch and walked out. I'm currently sat in my car. My phone is blowing up with Luke trying to contact me but I don't want to speak to him. I feel like I'm losing everything and everyone I don't understand what is happening. Update 2. I know a lot of you are telling me to cut all contact with my family and leave town. That is not an option for me financially and I would not be able to set up business elsewhere all my money is invested in it and I have only managed to get established recently with steady income, relocating is not an option for me. I love my friends and family and don't want to cut everyone off, I love my hometown I grew up here this is my life and I'm not willing to walk away from it. I didn't expect to write another update this fast but a lot has happened today. So firstly I agreed to meet my dad to talk and try and get him to back off and leave me alone. I asked my mom to arrange it, just him no one else. I wasn't sure if he would agree to that, but within 15 minutes of her calling he was at the door. I asked my mom to stay and mediate. To summarize the conversation. These are a bit messed up because it's a lot to remember. Me, him he wants, my dad is in therapy and wants me to join him for family sessions. He wants me to spend time with him one to one to stop being rude and mean to his children and spend time with them. Stop trash talking Jane to everyone and actually give her a chance invite for him and my family to my wedding and to walk me down the aisle. I want him to stop talking to my friends and getting others to try and talk to me on his behalf keep Jane away from me completely to be be civil at events or in town providing he does not try and hug me or talk to me. My mom told him he was being unrealistic with some of the things he wants especially regarding Jane and his other children so we have agreed for now. I will attend three therapy sessions with him when he arranges it. My mom thinks I need individual therapy as well, he will stop trying to interfere in my life and relationships he will keep Jane away from me and talk to his kids to give me space. I will be civil to him in public as long as he respects my personal space and does not approach or pressure me. As for my fiancé, I still haven't spoken to him, he turned up at my mom's but she refused to let him in. He keeps blowing up my phone and so does his family and friends telling me to hear him out. During my conversation with my dad I found out my dad has paid for most of the vendors and services for my upcoming wedding and they have been on speaking terms for quite some time, longer than I thought. Luke told me his family had paid for these and I believed him. I feel betrayed by him and that I can't trust him. I'm going to have to speak to him eventually but I don't feel ready. Update 3. Some of you are trying to be helpful and I appreciate that, but some of the abusive messages I received was terrible. I'm updating for those who have asked for an update and were supportive to me. This will be my last post and I won't be posting again. Firstly the deal with, my dad is off the table. He couldn't even manage a week without overstepping my boundaries. So there will be no therapy sessions with him and I will remain no contact. As you are all aware after speaking to my dad and agreeing a way forward in my conditions. Keep Jane away from me tell his kids to back off don't pressure me or invade my space it lasted all of three days. Everyone seemed happy I had forgiven my dad and told me so. My sister was excited I was willing to give him a chance and with some pressure I agreed to have dinner with just her and my dad. When my sister and I arrived at the restaurant to meet our dad he was not alone. He had invited Jane, my grandparents his son and daughter. He got up and tried to hug me. I immediately became upset asking why they were there. My dad told me that if we have any hope of repairing our relationship I had to accept Jane and my younger siblings. I told him he just broke our deal and to never contact me again and tried to leave. He refused to let me leave and grabbed hold of me. When I say all hell broke loose I mean it. I started shouting at them. My dad, Jane and grandparents tried to gaslight me and convince me to sit down when that didn't work things got very heated and a shouting match started and a lot of unforgivable things were said by my dad and Jane including remarks about my appearance and calling me a psychopath. My half-brother walked out of the restaurant and my half-sister started to cry. My sister actually surprised me and defended me, shouting at my dad for ruining things after all this time when I had finally given him a chance. She even slapped Jane. She got me out of there and apologized to me. I think this was the first time she had really seen how Jane was with me and how she treat me. She kept saying she couldn't understand how dad had spent years saying he would do anything to have me back and then would do this when he finally got his chance to rebuild the relationship. My dad has been trying to contact me but I have blocked him and refused to talk to him. I have also refused to speak to my grandparents. My dad has tried to convince my mom and sister to speak to me but I think he's burned his bridges with them. The incident from the restaurant has spread and some people seem to be backing off. Like I said what my dad and Jane shouted at me was unforgivable and they were overheard and this is a small town. Hopefully people will back off and those who won't I'm going to have to cut them out. My sister is very unhappy with my dad and Jane and not speaking to them. She is blaming them for me going no contact again. My sister is not letting them see her kids. I don't know if my sister will reconcile but right now she is furious. My mom is also furious and apparently had a few choice word with my dad and Jane and has promised she will never pressure me again to speak to him. I am going to go to individual therapy I think I definitely need it. I do feel bad about my half-siblings as they have done anything wrong and am maybe open to having a distanced kind of relationship with them in the future but I'm not ready yet or if I'll ever be. I did send them a message on Facebook to apologize and tell them they've done nothing wrong.
Lastly to update you all, in regards to my fiancé well I spoke to him yesterday about everything I had been radio silent since walking out on him. Basically he was pressured by his father to speak to my dad and was fed a sob story of a misunderstood father desperately wanting to be in his daughter's life. Luke had become annoyed with me refusing to attend his family events and walking out of his mother's birthday party when I realized my dad and Jane was there as he was getting pressure from his family about me ruining their events. He just wanted everyone to be happy and get along clearly at my expense. Luke admitted my dad had paid for some of the vendors for the wedding but he did not know this until after it was already paid. His fa, there had told Luke that him and his mom had paid. My dad had told Luke it was a gift and his way of contributing. Luke admitted my dad had asked him to speak to me on his behalf. I told Luke he had betrayed my trust and I couldn't see myself marrying someone who does not support me. He broke down crying and apologizing to me and promising to never do it again. Luke was heartbroken and begged for a second chance. To those of you who wanted me to break up with him, I'm sorry to disappoint you but we are going to try and work through this. Apart from this issue he had been the best partner and I genuinely think that he had been manipulated by his family and my dad. Luke has promised to stand up to his family and go no contact with my dad. I'm still living at my mom's as I still need some space which I won't have if I move home. We are going to contact our wedding vendors and see what our options are next week. Luke is begging for a postponement rather than cancel it altogether. We may still break up as actions speak louder than words and I need to see if he can rebuild what we had and show me I can trust and depend on him. Update 4. Firstly I have cancelled the wedding I was able to get some partial refunds but have lost some money. Luke begged me not to cancel the wedding but there was no way I could marry him after what he did. I was set on giving him a second chance and he promised me he would go low contact and stand up to his parents and issue an ultimatum that we would not tolerate any contact with my dad and Jane. Basically he would tell them we would not attend any event or party if they were invited and we would not tolerate any attempt to force contact or relationship with my dad. He met with them to explain this to them. When he came back from this meeting he was quite irritable with me and appeared to have had a change of heart to summarize it, he was trying to convince me his family only meant well and that he can't go low contact with his family because he loves them and he can't dictate their friendships. He then tried to convince me it won't be an issue in the future and his father would speak to my dad and tell him to be on his best behavior in my presence. As soon as I heard this people's comments went through my head and the main one being if we had children he would take them to his family where my dad and Jane would be and I would have no control over this. At that moment I realized I couldn't trust Luke and never would be able to. I broke up with him, he is not taking it well and keeps begging me to take him back and that he would go no contact with his family. His family and friends are trying to convince me on his behalf not to end our relationship. He has made his choice and proven to me he is spineless. I don't need him in my life. In regards to my dad I'm looking into getting a restraining order given what happened in the restaurant I might be able to but I don't know yet a friend of mine is helping me look into this. My dad has kept a low profile since last week apart from a couple of attempts to apologize to me I haven't heard much from him. My sister still won't speak to him or Jane. Unlike me my sister is highly confrontational and has blasted him and Jane on social media with what happened at the restaurant and things that have happened in the past which I didn't know about. My sister and Jane had a very public screaming match when she had seen them in town due to my sister's posts and demanding to take them down and ended up with Jane assaulting my sister. My dad apparently sided with Jane in this. My sister now hates Jane and refuses to speak to our dad who is also trying to contact her. My dad and Jane's reputation seems to have taken a hit in between the incident in the restaurant and my sister's fight with Jane and had numerous Facebook posts about them, people are gossiping. This has worked well for me because some people have backed off which I'm happy about unfortunately there are a few people s till on his side including my ex's parents. As for my half-siblings there's not much of an update in regards to them. I've found a therapist however there is a bit of a waiting list before I can start my therapy. I'm still living with my mom who is completely on my side and I have found a kitten and pick her up next week. Update 5. Hi everyone thought I would give you an update as to what's been happening the last couple of weeks for those of you who are still interested. Firstly I'm still at my mom's and I got my little kitten. I've named her Sasha and she is the sweetest thing but very energetic. For those of you asking for pictures I'll try, but she refuses to stay still long enough to get a one that's not blurred. I love her already. My mom continues to be my rock. I am still waiting for therapy but I'm finding Reddit useful and therapeutic and the support I've received from most of the people on here has been great and helped me see things more clearly so a big thank you to everyone. As for my ex now that we've broken up I feel lighter and free and being away from him has made me see all the red flags that I was blind to in our relationship and feel like I've dodged a bullet. Luke, using real names because my posts were discovered, is not taking the breakup well and has taken over from my father constantly bothering me. If you read this Luke we are done and I'm not changing my mind so stop calling me, stop coming to the house and stop sending me flowers. I'm moving on so you should too. My sister Emma is still firmly on my side and has washed her hands of Jane, stepmonster, and they are not on speaking terms after my sister told everyone about Jane's affairs. Jane is still trying to save face saying my sister is lying and telling everyone she can how we are just the worst and that we have treated her terrible over the years and trying to ruin her marriage. Don't think anyone is buying what she is saying. She has sent abusive messages to me and my sister and when we've bumped into her she's been screaming at us and threatening us. 
My sister's car had been keyed and my store windows were smashed. We can't prove it's her unfortunately but she is the most likely culprit. My half-siblings are definitely my dad's children they tested then years ago when she was a baby. From what I've heard they're not speaking to Jane at all. As for my dad he seems to have grown a spine and has kicked out Jane she is now living with her parents. From what I've heard he's thinking about divorce. I haven't had any contact with my dad except for a text saying he was sorry for everything. As for getting a restraining order I'm more concerned about getting one against Jane at the moment. Update 6. Firstly my dad and Jane are still together they broke up for a while but now they are back together and showing a united front even though she's a cheater. Apparently they tried again for the sake of their kids. Weirdly enough me and my dad are in a better place, we occasionally text and are cordial when we see each other but he has stopped pushing so hard for a relationship and respecting my space. We can now be in the same place and room without a scene and have had the occasional coffee together which to be fair is all I ever wanted. He even gave me my college fund with no strings attached. My step-siblings and I have started talking and we follow each other on social media my stepsister comes to my business sometimes and helps out. I realized they were not at fault and I was being unfair to them. They are still upset with their mom but are stuck living with her from what I can gather they are giving her the silent treatment. As for Jane I still hate her but least she is staying out of my business. I unfortunately could not get restraining order against her due to lack of evidence. I avoid her and won't speak to her and I think my dad has warned her. My sister is speaking to our dad again but despises Jane and refuses to have anything to do with her and is going out of her way to exclude her from everything she possibly can. Me and her have become so much closer. As for Luke we are not back together and never will be. He has not fully accepted this but things have calmed down and am not being harassed as much. He still wants to get back together but am not interested. Him, his friends and family will eventually accept this. He thinks because things are better with my dad and me now I'll soften and forgive him too but I just can't trust him. As for me I started therapy and am working through my issues. I've realized the relationship with my dad wasn't purely his fault and I share blame in this. I've spent my life acting like he abandoned me when I pushed him away as well. My business is doing well and I'm just focusing on myself.